Now dear student, we are going to discuss this question, question number 2.14 and in this question it is given to you two small sphere carrying charges 1.5 microcoulomb and 2.5 microcoulomb are located uh, 30 centimeter apart. We have to find potential and electric field number A at the midpoint of the line joining the two charges second part that is also given to you. Clear? So now first we will try to analyze a given situation and then we will solve this question. Clear? So now concentrate on a screen. Now listen carefully. In this question it is given two tiny sphere. It means we can assume this sphere as a point charges. Clear? So it is carrying charges 1.5 microcoulomb and 2.5 microcoulomb. Clear? So let's suppose here we have this charge or let's suppose I am drawing here. Let's suppose this is a small sphere. Let's suppose this is also small sphere. Clear? Charge value is given. So let's suppose Q1. This is given to you 1.5 microcoulomb. Clear? And value of Q2. This is given to you 2.5 microcoulomb. Clear to everyone? Now, it is located 30 centimeter apart. Means value between distance between two charges is given to you 30 centimeter clear to everyone now we have to find potential and electric field means our objective here is to calculate potential as well as electric field clear so potential and electric field at the midpoint of line joining the two charges clear so if we talk about part a clear now we can say let's suppose this is midpoint let's suppose this point is p clear from here you can see we have distance 15 centimeter and this distance is also 15 centimeter clear now our objective here is to calculate value of uh, we can say electric potential and electric field at point p clear so first we find electric potential at point p clear so electric potential at point p this is given by k q by r clear so we can write like this k q1 divided by r because distance from each charge or at the point P, this is same, clear? So KQ by R plus, we can write like this, this is KQ2 by R2 or we can say same because value of R is same. So we can take here common K by R, this is Q1 plus Q2, clear? Now we know value of Q, uh, value of K we have 9 into 10 to the power 9 and value of R, value of R is given to you 15 centimeter means we can write like this 15 into 10 to the power minus 2 clear value of q1 and q2 q1 value is given 1.5 plus q2 value we have 2.5 and this is given in micro coulomb so that's that's why we can multiply it with 10 to the power minus 6 clear so now we can write like this 9 by 15 into 10 to the power 11 then we can say 1.5 plus 2.5 this is equal to 4 so 4 multiply 10 to the power minus 6 clear to everyone so from here you can say electric potential at point p that is a midpoint of on the line joining two charges this is given by v equal to 9 by 15 into we can say 10 to the power 4 into uh, 10 to the power 5 clear 10 to the power 5 multiply we can say 4 clear so this is equal to we can say this is 3, this is 5. So we can write like this 12 by 5 into 10 to the power 5 volt. Clear to everyone? So we can say potential at point P. This is given by 2.4 into 10 to the power 5 volt. Clear to you? So like this you can calculate value of uh, electric potential at point P. Clear to everyone? Now we are going to discuss here value of electric field at point P. Clear? So now we can say both are positive charges. So definitely we can say direction of electric field at point P due to one. We can say in this direction even. Yes. And we can say this is E2. Now we can say distance is same, but this charge is having larger magnitude. It means we can say we will find net electric field in the leftward direction. Clear to everyone. So now we can write like this E net. E net. This value is given by, we can say, E2 minus E1, clear? You can also write this value in equation term, but I am just first finding direction in a logical sense. 
then I am writing here all the values clear so E2 minus E1 is a net electric field so value of E2 we can say E2 is given by KQ2 divided by R square clear minus we can write like this KQ1 over R square clear so from here we can say value of K by R square we can take it common Q2 minus Q1 clear value of K value of K we have 9 into 10 to the power 9 divide by r square r square value is given to you 15 centimeter so we can say 15 into 10 to the power minus 2 whole square clear value of q2 minus q1 q2 is given 2.5 so 2.5 minus 1.5 into 10 to the power minus 6 clear to everyone so from here we can write like this value of e net value of e net this is given by we can see 9 divided by 15 into 15 into clear we can see this is 10 to the power minus 4 and this is what 10 to the power 9 clear to you yes now we can say this is 1 into 10 to the power minus 6 clear from here you can see this is 10 to the power minus 2 and this one is 7 so we can see 9 into 15 into 15 into 10 to the power 7 clear to you and value we will get in Newton per coulomb so this will be value of net electric field at point P clear so now you can solve it uh, we can say this is 3 we can say this is 5 this is also 5 clear so we can write like this 1 by 25 into 100 into 10 to the power 5 Newton per coulomb clear from here you can say this value is equal to 4 clear so we can say 4 into 10 to the power 5 this is Newton per coulomb clear to everyone so this is value of net electric field at point P and this point P is the midpoint on on the line joining Q1 and Q2 clear to everyone yes or no yes now we are going to discuss part number second part number second in part number second it is given we have to find electric potential and electric capacity uh, electric potential and electric field at a point 10 cm from midpoint in a plane normal to the line passing through midpoint clear so let us try to understand given situation yes now we can say let's suppose again i am assuming here this is a charge and let's suppose this is a point charge value is given 1.5 micro coulomb so this is 1.5 micro coulomb this value we have q2 this is 2.5 micro coulomb clear now we know this is a midpoint let's suppose this is midpoint and we are assuming here uh, let's suppose this is midpoint i am indicating by o clear or let's suppose i am saying this is p no problem now let's suppose here we have at any point o and this point is lying 10 centimeter from midpoint so this is 10 centimeter distance clear to you this distance we have 15 centimeter this one is also 15 centimeter clear now our objective is to calculate electric field and electric potential clear so now you can say electric field is a electric field is a scalar quantity so directly we can see if we find here this distance and if we find this distance we can easily calculate value of electric potential so now we can see this is what this 10 centimeter and 15 centimeter are perpendicular to each other so we can say we can write like this this value is given by 10 square plus 15 square clear so from here we can say value of r this is given by 100 plus 225 clear so we can say this is equal to 325 clear now we know under root of 334 is approximately 18 centimeter uh, three under root of 334 we 324 we have 18 centimeter clear so we can write like this this is approximately equal to 18 centimeter clear to everyone now we can calculate electric field uh, uh, we can calculate first electric potential at point o due to charge q1 and q2 clear so we can write like this v naught this is given by v1 plus v2 clear value of v1 value of v1 is given by k q1 divided by we can see this is 18 centimeter i am just writing like this clear now i can write like this kq2 divided by this is also 18 centimeter 
Yes or no? Clear? This value is given 18 centimeter. This is also 18 centimeter. So we can write like this k upon 18 into 10 to the power minus 2 and this is q1 plus q2. Clear to everyone? So now we can say value of k. We have 9 into 10 to the power 9. 18 into 10 to the power minus 2. q1 plus q2. q1 plus q2 is given 1.5 plus 4. So we can say uh, 1.5 plus 2.5. This is 4. Clear? So 4 into 10 to the power minus 6. Clear to everyone? So now we can say this is what 10 to the power minus 4. Clear? We can say this is 2. This is 9. 9 and 9 this is cancelled out. Clear to everyone? So from here we can find value of electric pot, uh, electric potential at point O. This is given by 2 into 10 to the power 5. So 2 into 10 to the power 5 volt. Clear to everyone? Clear? Yes. Now we have to find value of electric field at point O. Clear? So if we are talking about electric field, it means electric field is a vector quantity and we have to take care of the direction also. Clear? So now you can say due to one direction of electric field in this direction. This one. Clear? And this is the direction of E1. Clear? From here you can say this is direction of we can say E2. Clear? Now we can say value of E1 and E2 we can calculate. E1 is given by KQ by R square. Clear? KQ by R square. Clear? So we can write like this. K value we have 9. Uh, first I am writing like this. K upon R square is the same. Either we are talking about E1 and E2 and value of Q1 we have 1.5 micro coulomb. Clear? Value of E2 this is KQ upon R square. This is Q1 and this is Q2. Clear? From here you can say this is K upon R square value of Q2. Value of Q2 is given by this is 2.5 micro coulomb. Clear to you? Yes. So now our objective here is to calculate value of electric field. Clear? So now we can say first of all we should know here what is angle between these two vectors. Yes or no? So for that one we can calculate this angle. Clear? Yes or no? So let's suppose we can say this is theta, this is theta. Clear? So can we calculate this value of theta? Yes. So let's suppose if I find value of uh, because we are calculating this theta. So this theta means we can say 10 theta we can apply. Yes. So 10 theta this is given by perpendicular upon base perpendicular we have 15 and base we have this one. So this is 3 by 2. Clear? So now can we calculate value of cos theta? Yes or no? Yes. So we can say when this is theta this is 3 this is 2 and this is under root of 5. Clear? So from here you can find because this is theta this is theta. So we can say this angle is what? 2 theta. Yes or no? So from here we can write like this cos 2 theta. Cos 2 theta we know this is 2 cos square theta minus 1. Clear? So can we find value of cos theta from here? Yes. This is equal to 2 upon under root of 5. Clear? So we can say 2, this is 2 upon under root of 5 whole square minus 1. Clear? So from here we can say this is 2 into 4 divided by 5 minus 1. So this is 8 by 5 minus 1 and we can say if we take LCM 5. So this is equal to 3 by 5. Now you can say sir why we are finding cos theta. Listen carefully. Now if we calculate value of E net. Clear? What I am saying to you now I am calculating value of E net. Clear? So listen carefully. We can write like this E net. This is given by under root of E1 square plus E2 square plus 2 E1 E2 and cos. Here we will write angle between these two vectors and we know angle is here this is 2 theta. So I am writing here this is 2 theta. Clear to everyone? Yes. Clear? Now, now we can put here all the values. So we can write like this E1. E1 square. E1 we can say this is K Q1 upon R square whole square. Yes or no? We can also write like this. This is K Q2 upon R square whole square. Clear? 2 times. We can say k q1 upon r square k q2 upon r square. So we can write like this k square q1 q2 upon we can say r to the power 4. Clear? Now we have value of cos 2 theta. Cos 2 theta value we have 3 by 5. So I can write like this. This is 3 by 
5 clear now we have to just calculate all these values and then we can get our answer clear to everyone so now actually first of all let us try to simplify this calculation clear so we can write like this k square we are taking common so this is k r to the power 4 we are taking common so this is r square so under root now we can write like this here we have q1 square plus q2 square plus 2 times q1 q2 into 3 by 5 clear now i am putting here all the values so now we can write like this in it clear this is k upon r square under root of clear value of q1 this is 1.5 whole square so we can say this is 2.25 plus clear this is 2.5 square so we can say this is 6.25 plus 2 times multiply 1.5 clear 1.5 and multiply 2.5 clear and it is multiplied with 3 by 5 clear and definitely 10 to the power minus 6 is also multiplying with each term and so we can see here this will be square square and square so we can take it common so we can write like this k upon r square into 10 to the power minus 6 now add all the values we can say this is 8.50 plus this is 2 multiply 15 by 10 into 25 by 10 into 3 by 5 clear to everyone so now we can say this is what we can say this is 5 and we can say this is 2 yes or no we can say this one and this one cancelled out this one is 2 and this one is 3 clear so now from here we can write like this k upon r square into 10 to the power minus 6 under root of 8.50 plus this is 3 multiply 3 we have 9 divide by we have only 2 left so this is 2 clear to you so from here we can write like this k upon r square into 10 to the power minus 6 this is what 4.5 this one is 8.5 so value we will get this under root of 13 yes or no so approximation you have to take so now we can find here value of e net so how can we calculate e net so apply normal to the line and passing through yes correct so now we can write like this e net value of k we have 9 into 10 to the power 9 divided by value of r square r value is what r value is what this is 18 centimeter clear so we can write like this 18 into 10 to the power minus 2 or you can write like this 18 into 18 into 10 to the power minus 4 clear this is 10 to the power minus 6 and this is under root of 13 clear now you can just simplify this is 2 clear we can say 10 to the power minus 2 and this is 7 clear so we can write like this 10 to the power 7 divided by 36 into under root of 13 clear now you can take here uh, you can calculate under root of 13 actually we know under root of 9 we have 3 under root of 16 we have 4 so approximately we can say this is 3.5 so 10 to the power 7 36 into 3.5 means we can say 7 by 2 clear approximately you can say this is 5 times clear so we can write like this we can take here 100 into 10 to the power 5 divide by this is 10 clear so approximately we can say 10 to the power 6 newton per coulomb so this is value of net electric field at point o clear at point o that is situated at a distance 10 centimeter from midpoint on the line joining two charges clear to everyone so this is all about this solution